income tax paid as a responsibility and obligation of the assessee to pay the income tax so income tax is not a business expenditure loss by embezzlement of the cashier yes it is also not a business expenditure it is by the mistake of the employee underwriting commission on shares it is 20% is supposed to be add back to the net profit Hello everyone I am Arun Kumar lecturer in department of commerce and management Vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence Mysore Dear students welcome to this new session on unit number 4 that is assessment of companies in this session we will be solving few problems based on assessment of company so dear students the first problem following is the profit and loss account of a surya company limited for the year ending 31st march 2019 compute the company's total income for the assessment year 21 22 so he had given us the profit and loss account statement by using this profit and loss account statement we are supposed to compute the business income that is the company's income and the tax liability of the company so here you can see in the debit side legal expenses yes legal expenses is relating to business so yes business expenditure office expenses yes office expenses is also relating to business so business expenditure director's fees it is also relating to business expenditure yes commission and brokerage on loans obtained yes the commission and brokerage paid on loans obtained it is relating to business income tax reserve yes here income tax reserve is not a business expenditure it is not a business expenditure he mentioned that it is a business expenditure but it is not a business expenditure you are supposed to add back this income tax reserve to net profit next excise duty excise duty is a indirect tax and it will be considered as business expenditure next underwriting commission on shares it is 20% is supposed to be add back to the net profit how much 20% should be add back to the net profit 20% of 30000 next two income tax paid income tax paid as a responsibility and obligation of the assessee to pay the income tax so income tax is not a business expenditure this should also be add back to the net profit wealth tax paid again it is also supposed to be add back to the net profit depreciation business expenditure fire insurance premium business expenditure next net profit it is 1 lakh 83000 income side gross profit yes business income premium on issue of shares yes it is also business income and interest on securities so interest on securities comes under other sources not under business so what we are supposed to do this we are supposed to deduct it next commission so commission is also a business income next refund of income tax so here income tax paid is not a business expenditure refund of income tax is also not a business income so it is also not a business income so moving further to solve the problem here you can see additional information is given depreciation found to be excess by 5000 the company paid advance rupees 10000 and fire insurance premium includes 10000 insurance premium paid in respect of residential house so the first thing is depreciation found excess of 5000 that means here in the problem you can see the depreciation so depreciation 40000 he claimed but actually supposed to claim 35 but he claimed excess of 5000 so what we are supposed to do we are supposed to add back 5000 rupees of depreciation we are supposed to add back 5000 rupees of depreciation to the net profit next year the company paid advance of 10000 so any advance payment is paid it will not be considered as business expenditure next fire insurance premium include 10000 rupees of insurance premium paid in respect of residential house so here this 10000 should be add back to the net profit so net profit as per p and l account so what is the net profit given in the problem 1 lakh 83000 so 1 lakh 83000 is the net profit add disallowed items so few items are not allowed we are supposed to add back those items we marked in the problem right here we marked which are all the items which are disallowed that is other than business expenditures so in that income tax reserve 
Yes, that should be add back to the net profit, 50,000. And underwriting commission, it is 24,000. So 20% we will be considering as business expenditure. The remaining amount will be, we are adding back to the net profit. Next, income tax paid. Yes, income tax paid is also not a business expenditure. We are supposed to add back it to the net profit. Next, wealth tax, 30,000. Next, depreciation. So excess depreciation, how much he claimed? He claimed the excess depreciation of rupees. Here you can see rupees 5,000 and we are adding it back to the net profit. Next one, fair insurance premium. So here the fair insurance premium includes the premium paid in respect of residential hours. So that 10,000 should be add back to the net profit. So now total the value, it is 1,37,000. So add 1,37,000 with 1,83,000, you will get the total of 3,20,000. Next, less allowable expenses and other sources of income. Under that, premium on issue of shares, so any premium received that will be considered as other than business income. So premium on issue of shares, 55,000. Interest on securities, it is 9,000. Next, refund of income tax, rupees 1000 total 65000 deduct 65 from 320 balance 255000 so the 255000 is called what business income so this is how we are supposed to find out the business income of a company moving further to know the total income of the company so the total income of the company income from salary is not given in the problem so it is nil Income from house property, it is also not there in the problem, nil. Income from business and profession, business income, we have found it out that, what is it, business income? It is rupees 2,55,000. So the business income is 2,55,000. So 2,55,000. Income from capital gain, so it is not given in the problem, it is nil. Next, income from other sources, we have interest on securities, it is rupees 9,000. So interest on securities is rupees 9,000. So 2,55,000 plus 9,000, 2,64,000 will be the gross total income. So less deduction under section ATC to ATU. So no deductions are there, no donations is made, no contribution is made towards any social activities. So no deductions. Total income is rupees 2,64,000. So on this total income, we are supposed to find out the tax liability of the company. But in this problem, just we are finding out the business income and the total income of the company. In upcoming problems, we'll be solving the tax liability of the company. So moving on to the next problem, problem number two, the following particulars are furnished by Shiva and Company Limited and the profit and loss account for the year ending 31st March 2021. So office expenses, yes, business expenditure, general expenses, business expenditure, advertisement, business expenditure, depreciation, business expenditure, exercise duty, business expenditure, income tax, not a business expenditure that should be add back to the net profit, fine and penalty, yes, it is also not a business expenditure because of the company's mistake, business mistake, they have to pay the fines and penalties. Director's fees, business expenditure, donation to NDF, it is not a business expenditure, it comes under deduction under section 80C to ATU. Loss by embarrassment of the cashier, yes, it is also not a business expenditure, it is by the mistake of the employee. Next, donation to political party, not a business expenditure. Damages paid for wrongful dismissal of MD, it is also not a business expenditure. Net profit, 1,50,000. Profit side, by gross profit, 2 lakh. Income from house property, not a business expenditure, rupees 1,50,000. We are supposed to deduct it. Next, premium on issue of shares, not a business income. So, moving on to solving the problem. Computation of business income for the assessment year 2020-21. Net profit as per profit and loss account is rupees 1,50,000. So, add disallowed items. So, income tax rupees 5000 fine and penalty rupees 2000 next donation to ndf 
10,000. Donation to political party, it is rupees 10,000. And damages paid for wrongful dismissal of MD, rupees 50,000. So if you total it, you will get 77,000. So 1 lakh 50,000 plus 77, you will get 2 lakh 27,000. From that, less allowable expenses and other sources of income. So income from house property, it is not relating to business. So 1 lakh 50 minus premium on issue of shares, 1 lakh 4,000. Total 2 lakh 54,000. Deduct 2 lakh 54,000 from 2 lakh 27,000. You will get minus 27,000. So this minus 20,000 is called loss from business. Minus 27,000 is called loss from business. Next computation of total income of the company. Computation of total income of the company. Income from salary, it is not there. Income from house property, yes it is given 1,50,000. Income from business and profession, we have loss under business of rupees 27,000. So income from capital gain is also not there. Income from other sources is also not there. So total it minus 27,000 from 1 lakh 50,000, you will get the balance of 1 lakh 23,000. That value is called gross total income. Next, less deduction under section 80, C to ATU in that donations comes under section 80, G. So donation to NDF, 10,000, 100% deduction. Donation to political party, 10,000, 100% deduction. So deduct this 20,000, balance 1 lakh 3,000. This 1 lakh 3,000 is called total income. So this is how we are supposed to find out the business income as well as the total income. So here on 1 lakh 3000 we are finding out the tax payable by the company. So total income is rupees 1 lakh 3000. So total income 1 lakh 3000 at 30 percent of tax. How much you will get? 30,900. Next Add education says at 4% on 3900. So 3900 into 4% you will get 1236. So 1236 plus 30900, 32136 will be the tax payable by the RCC, that is by the company. So this is how we are supposed to find out the business income of the company and the total income of the company and tax payable by the company. So with this, I will wind up this session. In the upcoming sessions, we will solve few more problems relating to assessment of companies. So until then, thank you all.